What is up guys? Welcome back. I figured today we'll just put out a short little video. Um, we'll do the walk around on the Z. And before I put it away or unfortunately before I destroy it anymore. So there's the Z and yeah, I gotta fix some things, but I think I'm just gonna put it away for the winter time right now and uh, fix it in a couple weeks when it's inside the shop and try to get things more buttoned up. But I just took it out to try and do its last little photo shoot. And yeah, it was terrible. Um, I'll roll that clip here in a second, but. So yeah, so this is my 2003 350Z. I believe it is the Enthusiast. I believe it's the Enthusiast. <coughs> which means it has um, the full bow system, heated power leather seats, which are garbage and super uncomfortable, and um, the LSD, and some other little goodies. Um, all black with um, all black interior and red on the outside, which I'd love to get it repainted red. I think the actual factory code, like the name of the paint, is red line red could be wrong but I'm not sure but I, I actually like wasn't really too keen on the red to begin with but the last six seven months that I've owned this car I have actually fallen in love with it and I really like it and I'd actually like to get it resprayed um, but we'll see up front all I've done is done the lip which is just a poly cheap poly lip. I don't remember which one it was. Um, and then I made the actual, ooh, these actual like little lip extensions um, with some bracing. And I actually like the look of it. I got it, the idea from uh, a guy on Instagram. Sorry, I don't remember your name, but I actually like the idea and I, I need to redo them because they're cracking. Um, and then I have the carbon fiber duct here, which is uh, which leads directly into our uh, Mishimoto cold air intake box. We wrapped the front of the car or just the hood so I can get an idea of what the carbon fiber would look like. I and mean, I really like it, so I think over the winter the idea is to do an actual carbon fiber hood on this thing because it's really chipped and pitted. So I'd either like to get it resprayed, probably just black or something, or um, rewrap it for a second time, uh, do a better job, or just end up getting a uh, carbon fiber hood for it. Um, then I need to get new lights. They, uh, I don't know, they decided to fog up or something. So we need to replace the lights here before too long. Uh, I did the little like the little slants on the eyes. I had real actual carbon fiber eyelids, but I could never get them to stay down. So I just ended up taking those off and giving them to a friend and then just wrapping them so it looks the same. <coughs> um, and then custom side skirt extensions. Um, which actually just fell off on the other side along with everything else. It was a nightmare. JDM mud flaps and then tinted out the tails and the turn signals which I would like to get a new set of tails as well as um, LED turn signals. I found like a set of sequential that I really liked. And then we did from back here we did the NVIDIA catback exhaust, which I really like. Um, it sounds really good. And then we obviously did the um, Battle Arrow gooseneck on the car. So that was really good. I really like that piece. Um, as you can see on this side, we lost our side skirt extension thanks to leaves which is one thing I gotta fix. And then we also tweaked our bumper. So our bumper is on. I 
our bumper is on like a quick release system. There's what? Three, six, I believe eight push pins to take the bumper on and off. But with all those leaves, it kind of messed up the bumper, so that's not good. Hey, Oakley. Come on. Come. Let's go. Here we go. I swear the dog does not listen. Um so yeah, just some little odds and ends. 5% wrap all the way around. So, wheel and suspension. I am running um, XXRs. Uh, I don't remember which model they were, but they're XXRs. 18 by 10 and a half plus 22, I believe. Uh, and it's squared, so it's all the way around. Um, cheap tires that were on them. I'd like to get better tires, but they aren't seeming to do too bad at the moment. But I believe it's a 225-40-18s. So, doesn't look too bad. And then, as you guys seen in one of the last videos, we did the big brake kit swap. So I have two pop Brembo's up front on drilled rotors and single pot rotor or Brembo's in the back. Or would that be four and two? I don't know. Either way, uh, big brake off the G35 is now on the Z and suspension wise um, it's all stock except for coilovers and I believe they're just cheap race lines I'm trying to decide on where I want to go with suspension whether I want to do um, BC's or Fortunato's or if I want to save up a little bit more money with this car and do like an AccuAir system and put it on air. So I don't know, comment down below what you guys think or what you guys are running and what you like. Um, I do want to get another set of wheels for next year and I'm thinking of trying to get three piece wheels and maybe build them myself and just buy the faces and then do redo lips and barrels on them to get them to actually fit because I don't like running spacers with these and then yeah there's just some little odds and ends stuff on the outside that I still like to do uh, motor wise nothing uh, just a cold air intake uh, full Mishimoto cold air intake that's all that's done I would like to get a different ECU which I'll get into in another video they're having a slight hesitation so Thinking about replacing the ECU on this car and then having it flashed with rev up. So we'll see there. So if you guys were following my Instagram, you would see that we had an underglow kit on this car, which we no longer now have because that also ripped out. Um, so we have to get a new underglow kit. I think I want to do something a little bit better than what we bought. It was just a cheap kit um, and I did like it, but maybe I can track down something a little bit better for next year so yeah so I have a list of some stuff that I want to do over the winter time with this um, work on new suspension hopefully um, I want to do kind of arms in the front hopefully get new wheels for this car and just fix up some of the stuff that we broke like you just seen like get the bumper to fit up better because now we have huge gaps thanks to the leaves and get our side skirt put back together so I'll show you that clip right now. No. Oh, gnarly. That's fine. Oh. No, more leaves. Drive a lower car, they say. It'll be fun. <laughs> oh, man. Look at that! Ah! Uh. <laughs>
Get it, Caleb. Dude, it just keeps coming. <laughs> Trying so hard not to be immature about that comment right now. <laughs> Take some pictures. <laughs> Is this like instant karma? Maybe. We're at, we're at a cemetery. And there's people in the cemetery. They probably think we're awful. But it's for art, damn it. That's insensitive. That's insensitive. It is. Caleb did a big no no taking pictures in the, <laughs> the cemetery. Caleb took pictures for me too. He took more pictures of me than his car, and I feel bad now. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, so the photos were worth it, but that was a nightmare of uh, probably instant karma for shooting in a cemetery i guess but it was worth it maybe i don't know so yeah so we'll get that stuff fixed up and get this thing put away for the winter time because i don't want it sitting outside and yeah see see what we can do with it um and then i think up next we'll do the walk around of the drift car and give you guys an update on what's going on with that and where I want that build to go and then hopefully in like two weeks I'll find out if we can start another build especially in Montana I need a third car because this this isn't gonna cut it so like always thanks for watching stay tuned for more I have a lot of stuff coming up and uh, like comment and subscribe and we'll see you in the next one